The 16 Best American Horror Story Characters from Tate Langdon to Twisty. These heroes and villains stick in our minds as much as that creepy theme song. Narrowing down a list of the best American Horror Story characters is no easy task now that we've reached double-digit seasons. But it's a testament to this select group of favorites that they remain as unforgettable as they do. On a show that cycles in a whole new selection of characters every installment. Naturally, we love our fair share of colorful villains, especially when they're played by such legends as Jessica Lang and Kathy Bates. But we can also appreciate those fighting for good in the face of unmitigated terror. Here is our list of the best and most memorable American horror story characters through the years. Though Evan Peters has gone on to play many unique roles on the show, it's his turn in Murder House that stands out. Not only was it the part that marked the beginning of Peter's massive following among AHS fans, but it's his most nuanced and interesting character. Between his horrible parents and growing up in a house that is the very definition of evil, the mentally disturbed Tate never really had a chance to be good, and yet, at times he manages to be both noble and despicable. Tate's actions, fathering the Antichrist, also lay the groundwork for future seasons and establish some of the show's rules regarding ghosts. Lauren Huff. You didn't think we'd make a list like this and not include at least one Jessica Lang character, did you? The first of several delightfully evil characters played by the veteran actress, Murder House's Constance makes a strong case for worst mother of the year, but because lying is just so good, you love to hate her. And even after a self-imposed break from the show, it was the character of Constance that Lang agreed to play again in the eighth season, Apocalypse. Oh. Oh, Lana Banana. As a journalist turned asylum prisoner turned serial killer slayer turned best-selling author, Lana is one of the show's most badass and lovable characters. Apparently, the show knows how much the people love this Sarah Paulson creation, as Lana has made appearances in three seasons so far. Asylum, Roanoke, and Cult. Well, Lily Rabe is such an underrated star of this show, and Asylum's sister Mary Eunice is the perfect example of why that is. At first, Sister Mary Eunice is sweet and meek. Then, after becoming possessed by the devil, she's evil incarnate, and the transition is just oh so fun to watch. Oh, the face of Asylum's best twist, and perhaps one of the series' best. Dr. Threadson starts off as a hero of sorts. He has compassion for the patients at Briarcliff, while Sister Jude, Jessica Lang, and Dr. Arden, James Cromwell, have none. It's ultimately a facade, however, for his real identity as Bloody Face, a sadistic serial killer and rapist with perhaps the silliest of monikers. Kudos to Zachary Quinto for making all of it believable and completely menacing. Who's the baddest witch in town? The minute Fiona is introduced in AHS. Coven, there's no question she's the supreme, and Lion's Diva presence makes her a wicked delight to watch. Obsessed with the promise of immortality, Fiona refuses to go gently into that good night, resisting all attempts to take her supreme power away from her, and who can blame her when she's having so much fun? Keevan Jacobson. That hair. Those truth spells. Declaring... Balenciaga, before bursting into flames at the stake. What an icon. Praise the AES gods that this wasn't the last we saw of Frances Conroy as Myrtle. She also appears in all of her couture-wearing glory in Apocalypse. Ali. By far the best part of the freak show season, John Carroll Lynch's twisty was severely underutilized but beyond memorable nonetheless. As a disgraced performer who attempted suicide after false rumors were spread about him, you almost want to root for this murderous clown. Luckily, Freak Show was not the last we saw of Twisty, as his character had achieved, well, cult status by the time AHS. Cult rolled around. Yes, Twisty, you are a good clown. Oh. Rich, spoiled, disturbed man-child Dandy Mott remains one of the show's most ridiculous characters, which is saying something since he is part of a season titled Freak Show. His tantrums are legendary, and with a body count of about 25, Finn Wittrock's dandy was easily the show's most prolific killer until James March, Evan Peters, in Hotel. Oh. 
Hotel may have been a bit of a mixed bag, but there's nothing mixed about this glamorous, 112-year-old vampire. Lady Gava is absolutely mesmerizing and steals every scene she's in. Many thanks are due to the AHS gods for cluing us into Gada's immense acting talent. Ah, oh. if she had hair, it would be big on account of all the secrets she knows about the Hotel Cortez and its occupants.